stop in the name of title on this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we are talking about stop in our business. What does that mean? We're talking about estoppels. Estoppel certificates are very important in our business. So we're going to talk about what is an estoppel, how do we order an estoppel, and what information does the estoppel show relevant to your next real estate closing. So when we say stop, that means we're ordering an estoppel. There are many different places we can order an estoppel from. It could be from the landlord and the tenant that are living in the property. It could be from a mortgage company. It could be from the homeowners association or condominium association. Don't forget to subscribe below because we're going to do another episode talking about homeowners associations and condo associations. But on this episode, we're talking about what is an estoppel. An estoppel is a piece of paper. It's a search that we basically order. Could be from the condo association where we're asking them, are there any special assessments pending on this property? Is there any money due on this property? Is the seller delinquent? on their maintenance. This is all of the information that is gonna be relevant to your next real estate closing. This is going to tell us how much are the association dues for you, the property that you are buying. This is going to tell us if there are any pending violations with the homeowners association or the condominium association. This is going to tell us, most importantly, if approval is required by the buyer. So estoppel means stop and tell me what's going on. Stop and tell me what is owed on this property that this buyer is trying to buy and this seller is trying to sell. That is called an estoppel certificate. The second place we see an estoppel is when we're talking about tenants. So you can imagine, you're already thinking of what that's going to say. What is the tenant security deposit? Do you know how many times we have conflicting demands when the tenant estoppel comes in and the landlord says they're only holding $500 security deposit, but the tenant saying they, they gave a thousand, someone was wrong. So it's very important that we order this estoppel certificate. It's going to tell us exactly what the tenant paid in a security deposit to make sure it matches what the, the seller is saying they had. It's going to tell us when was the last rent payment made. It's going to tell us how long is the lease for. This is all relevant information that your title company should be ordering. Now, we order that if we see that a, a contract is subject to a lease, we'll order and ask for the information to order a tenant estoppel. If we see it's in a homeowners or a condominium association, we take care of ordering that. But you need to be very careful. And one of the questions that people ask is, what is this expensive estoppel certificate? Sometimes these estoppels could be anywhere from $300 all the way up to $800 I've seen. If it's with an attorney because it's in collections, it's a lot more. So you want to understand what is an estoppel, know the cost. It's usually a seller paid expense where we go and we order the estoppel to make sure you as the buyer are protected from any future losses uh, pursuant to some money, some type of money loss. And that's the importance of ordering an estoppel. If you learn something new, talking about estoppel certificates, subscribe below, like our video, and please share this on social media. We love to see our videos on Facebook. It could, you could put it up on Instagram. You could put it up on LinkedIn. It's very important to share this knowledge with our real estate community. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.